Here we have to show that the equation containing first and second level derivative of y is equal to 0. Here y is equal to e raised to a cos inverse x. So we can take logarithm on both the sides giving us log y is equal to a cos inverse x. Now we can differentiate this with respect to x and apply derivative of log which is equal to 1 upon y and derivative of cos inverse which is equal to minus 1 upon under root of 1 minus x square. As we need second level derivative we can differentiate this equation. Here on the left hand side we have product of 1 upon y and dy by dx so we will apply product rule and for the right hand side we will apply chain rule as it is a composite function of square root and 1 minus x square. Now doing the simplification we get an equation which is having first and second level derivative. Now compare this with the equation that we have to prove. So first term dy by dx whole square whereas the equation that we have to prove doesn't have this term. So we will replace 1 upon y dy by dx using equation 1 and the right hand side looks similar to the right hand side of equation 1 with the exception that we have an extra x in the numerator and extra 1 minus x square in the denominator. After applying equation 1 we get an equation which on further simplification becomes minus a square by 1 minus x square plus 1 upon y d square y by dx square equal to x by 1 minus x square 1 upon y dy by dx. Now on the left hand side we have in the denominator 1 minus x square in the first term and y in the second term whereas on the right hand side we have 1 minus x square and y both. So we can multiply both sides of the equation by 1 minus x square y and then doing the simplification we get that from the first term 1 minus x square gets cancelled from the second term the y gets cancelled and from the right hand side denominator gets completely eliminated leaving us only with x. Now rearranging the terms we get an equation which we wanted to prove.